All right, this time we're going to look at Karak, uh, one of the main bad guys from the Valiverse Action Force line of figures, Series 1. And I've not decided on his pose yet. Right now I've just got his uh, feet down on the uh, the base here to, to remount the holes a little bit. Um, but uh, quite an imposing fellow, wouldn't you agree? Um, uh, at first I thought this was going to be my least favorite of the series, uh, Series 1 figures, but uh, it's fine. I mean... It's actually a pretty cool looking figure. Uh, you can see he is wearing the uh, Garrison Medieval Helmet here. Uh, medieval Helmet's famously difficult to see out of. I don't know what they're playing at here, but there he is without the uh, helmet. He's quite a taciturn fellow, wouldn't you agree? Uh, great face sculpt on this figure. But let's, uh, he scared me, so let's go ahead and put his helmet back on. Yeah, that's pretty scary too, but helmet fits fine on this thing. Fits quite snugly. Uh, as far as accessories, well, he's got his sawed-off shotgun there. I, I don't know if I'm holding that properly. Um, that's really the only way I could get it in his hand, is to get the trigger in there, and your trigger finger in there. Um, you'll notice that this, there's no paint applications on this shotgun. There is a, a shotgun in the, um, one of the weapons packs, either Alpha or Bravo, that does have brown paint apps on it. Uh, you may want to substitute that out uh, with this weapon if you pick up that weapons pack. Uh, he also includes a combat axe and folks this thing is dangerous in real life uh, very very sharp on the edges here um, you're okay right here but these are uh, I mean you could you could prick your fingers on these and on this point back here so be very very careful with this okay the same is true with his uh, knife and it's a cool knife um, it really is nice paint job on that but the point is extremely sharp okay just uh, be wary of that when you play with these um, he also has a uh, little pistol now I'd have to go look up on my notes here to tell you exactly what make and model that is it's gray it's got the uh, uh, brown handle on it uh, in fact I'll put this down and I'll go uh, check my notes right now to see if I've written this down Okay, according to my notes, this is a Colt 45. Kind of small for Karak, but, you know, it's a very famous sidearm. The uh, shotgun is a Mossberg, according to my notes, and the knife is a Bowie knife. Um, no make and model on this, uh, on this axe. It could be a, a fanciful a creation. Uh, I don't know if that's st standard military issue axe or not. Uh, I wouldn't think so, but uh, who knows. Uh, now, he also has, uh, let me go ahead and put the uh, Colt 45 back in the holster, which goes right there on his, on his leg, and he has a sheath for the knife on the other leg, and, and uh, both are removable if you take the, the, the time and, and go through the hassle of getting them off the legs. Um, he also comes with uh, a little uh, bag sheath for his Mossberg shotgun. Um, I am not having any luck getting this staying in uh, his back here. I mean, it goes in fine, but you play with it and pose it for a few seconds and it falls out. I think either this peg isn't long enough or it's not, um, the girth is not uh, uh, thick enough or, or something else. I mean, it, it just won't stay in. The, I, the vest may have something to do with it as well. Also, keep in mind it's hollow on the inside. Those all may be contributing factors. What I might do is swap out uh, another backpack from the backpack gear set. Now, it's going to cover up the Garrison uh, logo back here on his back, which does look really cool. But let's see. Yeah, that's that's secure. That's in there. It may not match the figure too well, but again, that, that's not that important. Uh, it's, you know, utility and functionality over fashion uh, when it comes to these matters. But... Uh, I think it's a really cool figure. Uh, this is apparently the one of the main baddies, along with the Bone Collector. I think the Bone Collector works for this guy. And I think this guy commands the Garrison Cavalry, which those figures are forthcoming in, in Series 2. They will also wear medieval helmets. And, uh, of course, I, I don't know the Action Force story. I don't, I don't have the comic books, and I don't... Uh, I, I confess I haven't taken the time to read the... Uh, the information on the Valiverse website, but it tells the, the, the basic gist, gives you a plot outline of, of the Valiverse world, of the Action Force story. And I think it's a really cool action figure. I like this one better than I thought I would. Um, 
Now, uh, as far as uh, you know, getting this thing ready to, to play with and pose, uh, just the standard, you know, 30 seconds low heat with a hairdryer on the front, 30 seconds on the back. I had no issues getting any joints moving on this one. In fact, at this point, let's, let's recap here. Uh, the only issues with joints I did have was uh, the Swarm Trooper. Of course, I didn't really know what I was doing at that point. Uh, I had some issues with his legs and with his feet. Um, the um, Steel Brigade Trooper, the boot, one of the boot joints was stuck. That took a while to, to get loose, and he, his, his uh, knees were very, very tight. Everything else was pretty much okay on that figure. With Condor, again, one of the um, boot swivels was stuck, but once I got that worked out, it was okay. Um, and one of his knees uh, I had to bend a few times to feel comfortable with. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter, I didn't have much trouble with him at all. Uh, I will say that Condor's upper torso, no issues at all. Didn't even need to heat the, his upper torso, but the legs were tight on him. Uh, and uh, with Karak here, not, not much in the way of issues at all. Uh, as as with every, all the other figures, the the wrists are a completely different matter. Uh, you know, this took about an hour for me to get all the wrists moving, and I bet at this point, yeah, once they cool down, that they, they get tough to move again, so... Uh, they do all move. I didn't break any of them. So I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. I don't. Uh, and of course, with Sergeant Slaughter and with Karak, there is no paint on the hinges. So that's not an issue. The issue is just simply that the joints are incredibly tight on these wrists. And uh, just watch out for that. And uh, the only issue I've had with Karak is the, uh, the shotgun sheath will not stay in his back. I did try a little poster putty uh, around the uh, peg there. On the base of it, just to see if I could just get you know stick it on the back, but it, it not very successful. But I'm not too concerned about that. I'm actually kind of digging him with a backpack right now. And if I don't like that, I'll, I mean, I'll if I change my mind in the future, that's always an option. But at this point, I have all but two of the uh, backpacks from the uh, backpack gear set employed on these figures, and. Um, one of those will go on the Bone Collector, and the other one will go on the uh, Spec Ops Trooper. So those will all that that set will all be put to use. Well, uh, yeah, I'm you know, overall impressed with Karak. Very uh, understated as far as uh, his outfit goes. Um, you know, military down south, uh, uh, biker up top. That's that's, <laughs> that's a funny way to say it, but that's what you got going on here. Um, and the, uh, the steel helmet is a mystery. It's cool. I, I, you know, I know from experience, you cannot see out of a, of a, out of a medieval knight's helmet. And, uh, especially with that barboot, with the, uh, the, the nose guard sticking down, you just can't see anything. So, but this guy's a badass. He probably takes pride in his tunnel vision there. And, uh. Yeah, I I don't know what Valiverse is planning for vehicles yet. I know they are planning on making some vehicles. Now, listen, folks. Uh, a tank, the same scale as these figures, would be as big as this table. Uh, so I'm, surely they're going to make some... A, a, a chopper uh, would be as big as this table to scale with these figures. Um, surely they're going to make con some concessions. Or maybe they'll do what G.I. Joe Classifieds is doing and just stick to things like motorcycles or Jeeps. Uh, that that might be what happens. Maybe some sort of attack jeeps. Uh, I almost guarantee they're going to make a motorcycle for Karak because it, it just, you know, I mean, look at him. He is clearly a biker, and it's probably going to be some sort of combat chopper. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not influenced by something out of Mad Max. And uh, But that's just my theory. That's just my guess there. Um, but he's a cool figure. Um, again, I didn't think he was, uh, he was going to be high up on my list of favorite figures in this line. And, you know, I, I really don't want to rate these because I like them all. That's, but I, I, it turns out I do like the carrot figure more than I thought I was going to. And so, you know, that's a swing and a hit. Every one of these so far is a, is a swing and a hit, you know, not without the issues, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the shotgun sheath will not stay on his back for me. Your mileage may vary. And, you know... The wrists, you know, I'm, I'm really getting some blisters on my fingers with these, trying to get these wrists moving. And it just takes a little more force than I'm comfortable using. Uh, you know, my, my primary concern is to not break 
these expensive figures, but uh, uh, the wrists are sturdy. They're durable. So who's left? Well, the bone collector. That'll be the next figure. I'll probably go ahead and get him out. I don't know if I'll... I, I don't know. I might warm up the, the figure itself and, uh, and get it ready to pose and put on a stand for the overnight. I'm not going to fool with the wrists tonight, though. Uh, that's a, you know, I'm a little too tired and exhausted for that. It really is tiring trying to get those wrists moving. Um, and after that, the three Republic Guard troopers. The, we'll start with the Spec Ops trooper, since it doesn't have a, a vest to put on it. Uh, there is no Spec Ops gear set. But the other two, sort of dreading it because of those vests. I hope, I hope, I hope the Internet has grossly exaggerated how difficult those vests are to put on. Uh, they have grossly exaggerated other aspects about these figures, for which I'm very thankful. Um, but we'll just have to see. And then after that, we'll just look at the two weapons packs, and we'll probably put some of those extra weapons on some of these figures in some capacity. Uh, whatever. Uh, we'll start really customizing their looks at that point. Okay. Well, thanks so much for watching. Let's give you one more look at this uh, badass Karak. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.